Welcome again. We're reading from Luke chapter 13, verses 6 to 9. This is about the fruitless tree. He spoke this parable. This is Jesus speaking, by the way, the words in red. A certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came seeking fruit on it and found none. But he said to the vine dresser, Behold, these three years I, co- I have come looking for fruit on this fig tree and found none. Cut it down. What does, why does it waste the soil? He answered, Lord, leave it alone this year also until I dig around it and fertilize it. If it bears fruit, fine. But if not, after that, cut it down. My friend, this is a parable that is very important to understand. You need to be a fruitful fig tree, so to speak, okay? Jesus is looking for trees that produce fruit, What does that mean? That means that you are not just sitting there doing nothing. You are are actually doing something for God. And you're doing good things for God. A lot of people do not know what good is, really. Everybody's got their own sense of goodness. Everybody's got their own sense of righteousness, what's right, what's wrong, what's good, what's bad. But you got to go with God's righteousness, God's standard of righteousness. What does that mean? That means instead of going by what you feel or think is right and wrong, go by what God says is right or wrong. And how do we know that? We know that through the scriptures. We knew that we know that through his law. We know that through the teachings of Jesus. We know we know that throughout the entire scope of scripture. We can learn what's right versus what's wrong from Genesis to Revelation. We can learn it all, okay? It's all there for us to learn. It's the law of God, it says, is, is, um, is, for, is for sinners. Why is it for sinners? Because sinners need to know what's right and wrong, okay? So we need to do what's right, according to God's standard, according to God's law, according to God's word. We shouldn't do what's right in our own in our own sight, in our own mind, in our own heart. A lot of people say, well, God knows my heart. Oh, I got it. You know, God knows I got a good heart. You know, the, you know what the scripture says? The scriptures, God's word says, I know the heart of men that it is, dis- it is desperately wicked desperately wicked. Everybody would say, oh yeah, I have a good heart. I, you know, God knows my heart. God understands. Well, God says, yeah, I do understand your heart. It is desperately wicked in my sight and you need to change it. Okay. That's repentance. We need to bear much fruit and good fruit, not bad fruit, good fruit. How do we do that? Read the scriptures and do it. It's simple. A lot of Christians today, they they got it all wrong. They, they, they write off the word of God. They write off, they write off the word of God. They write off the law. They say, oh, we don't, we, we don't have to go by the law no more. The law is, is God's word. God didn't make a mistake, never has made a mistake. When he says it's right and wrong, my friend, it is right and wrong. If he says this is right and that, and that is wrong, guess what? For all of eternity, this is right and that is wrong. God doesn't change his mind and he's never made a mistake. It says in Psalm 119, your word is forever settled in heaven. God is never changing. Malachi uh, chapter 3 says, I am the Lord, I change not. He does not change. Be it past, present, or future, he will never change. That's why you can trust him. So what are we doing today? We're digging around many fruit trees today. We're digging around many fig trees today. We are trying to fertilize it. We are giving it another chance. We're giving it another year. How are we fertilizing it? Through good, wholesome teaching in righteousness. So my friend, as you go, 
in your daily walk, in your daily thoughts, in your daily devotion, in your daily prayers. Pray that you will be a good fig tree that bears much fruit and good fruit according to God's standards, not human standards. Okay? As you go, be blessed and God give you the strength and power to be victorious over sin. Thanks again.